everyone welcome back to my channel today i am here with a post review for you all this is a kit from craftably uh it is one of their 4.0 4 kits but it's one that was released last summer so it's not one of the most recent pre-orders that are coming in um it is an older kit from them and unfortunately i don't think this is available anymore. Um, I could be wrong, so I will put, um, if I can find it on their website, I'll put a link down below. Um, I hope it's still available because it is a really, really cute image and I, I thoroughly enjoyed working on it. So this is Pumpkins for Sale. It's a 46 centimeter by 99 centimeter uh, round drills, 59 colors with three ABs and one crystal. So overall, I really enjoyed working on this kit. Um, I love the full overall effect, which I will actually put in a full length image here. Uh, it's very wide, so I can't get all of it in frame, but you're getting most of it. Um, I kind of have it like centered on the, the big focal point, but the picture will show you everything that you're missing. Um, I really did enjoy this kit um i loved the little details so over here there's a little kitty cat on a shelf there's a little puppy in a basket on the left um you can read this sign very well um this one here not so much i think it's supposed to say pumpkins for sale um, but you can read the homegrown sign very well. I think the little pieces of corn here turned out great. Um, the pumpkins, I just think it rendered very well. Uh, the tree came out amazing. I love the little barn. There's another tree over here. Um, so overall, I really enjoyed this image and I enjoyed it a lot because it's very uh, reminiscent for me. So my grandfather, my maternal grandfather was actually a farmer. Uh, he grew, he, they had animals when my mother was younger. Um, but when I was a kid, they just did produce. So they had a lot of vegetables. Uh, and every fall we used to go out and pick pumpkins for his uh, farm stand and we would put them in the back of the truck. And, um, so this was very like, it took me back and I, I really enjoyed that. My grandfather is no longer with us. So I enjoyed this piece, uh, just kind of took me back. Um, now I, I did really enjoy the drills. The drills were great quality. I had very little trash, which I'll show you in a second. Um, the one thing <laughs> there were, there was a lot of confetti. Now I feel like in, autumnal images in general there tends to be a lot more confetti because they're trying to capture like the different color leaves on the trees and um but there was a lot of confetti and I was kind of over it <laughs> um there were nice areas of color blocking for sure um obviously the sky up here is pretty color blocky the truck um parts of the the wood siding um but there was a lot of confetti that I didn't love. I, I'm finding out more and more that I'm becoming such a color blocking fanatic, uh, but I do enjoy confetti, but there was a lot of it in this kit, but I think it lent itself really well. Oh, there's another puppy here. I didn't see this one. Look, there's a little black puppy laying by the pumpkins. <laughs> um, I do think it really lent itself very well to the image. Uh, one thing, that I did want to mention is I did run out of a color. So I ran out of 3833 up here. Um, and you can see the color difference, uh, which I actually ordered replacement drills from Diamond Drills USA. They come in little packs of 200 for 50 cents. So I actually bought two of them. Um, I just thought it would be a color that I would want in my stash. I did not reach out to Craftably. I'm sure if I had that they probably would have done something to send me drills. Um, but I just wanted to get this kit finished and my order from Diamond Drills USA came very quickly. So the coloring is a little off. It's actually not supposed to be this dark color. It's this lighter color here. 
somebody's doing something outside and that was very loud. Um, but I think it's fine. Not that big of a deal. I do not have plans to frame this one. Um, it's beautiful and I love it, but it's very large and I don't know where I would put it. Um, something else that I did want to mention is that I did not like the crystal in this kit. Now I do love that craftably, at least in their round kits, they tend to do ABs and crystals. And I think that that's awesome. I love that they offer uh, different types of special drills. I know that there are people that prefer to have special drills pre-charted for them. So to have a company that does both ABs and crystals uh, is probably great for a lot of people. I just did not like the placement of the crystal. I think I would have preferred it to have just been an AB. So you guys can probably see uh, it's this color here. So it's this like yellow topaz color. Now this is sprinkled up in the tree in spots and that I really do like. I That makes sense to me. You know, the sun is coming towards the trees and some of them are just a little sparkly. That I really did like. The other placements, I was not personally a fan. So there's some on the signs. So there's some here and even that is okay. There's also some here. I do not like them on the pumpkins. I think that they look weird personally. Um, they're just kind of in random spots. So like these two pumpkins right here don't have anything. And those look like pumpkins to me. They look like nice pumpkins I would pick to put on my porch. Now the ones with the crystals, it just looks kind of weird to me. It, it makes them look, I don't know. They just look weird. I just don't like it. Personal preference, right? That's what diamond painting is. Um, I can understand what they were going for. I just don't think it translated very well. Um, if I were to do this kit again, I would probably just replace this with an AB, maybe, or just the regular um, DMC drill color. I just think it's too stark of a contrast to the rest of the pumpkin. Um, honestly, that is my only gripe with this kit. Um, I think it rendered beautifully. I think the truck came out great. I love the little animals, uh, the little kitty cat there. You've got a little coin jar so you can put your bills for what you're purchasing. Um, my grandfather's stand was like, we would actually work it. Um, so people would come in and my grandfather wouldn't let me use a calculator. So I would have to figure the math out in my head. <laughs> Or he had like a big wooden bench and you could like see all of our pencil marks from when we were trying to figure out the math. <laughs> um, it was fun. I would, I would love to go back to doing that. But unfortunately, uh, the farm has passed to somebody else, not my family. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think it's a beautiful kit. I will be very bummed if it's not available uh, for you guys. But again, I'll, t I'll take a look and I'll link it if it is. Um, let's talk about the drills really quickly. So when I say that this was great drill quality, this is what I mean. This is a 99 centimeter wide kit. And this is all I had in the way of trash drills. That is very impressive to me. So you can see that I had some little half drills, some little pieces, little balls, and then some drills that just had extra stuff on the outside, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, I think it's very impressive that this is all there was for garbage. Uh, really happy with that. And aside from 3833, which is this color, I did add in that bag. I ordered two bags from Diamond Drills USA. So I did put one of the bags in here, but this is the color I ran out, out of. I was about 64 drills short. Um, but other than that, I was pretty confident. I had plenty of every other color. The drills themselves were great. 
um, no complaints there. And yeah, definitely a fan of the Craftably rounds. I have worked on a few Craftablys in the past. Um, last year, this was my first for this year, but uh, as far as their overall quality, I think it's great. No issues uh, impressed with, with the overall quality. So those are my thoughts on this kit, Pumpkins for Sale. Uh, let me show you guys my accessories and then I will let y'all go. So I used trays from Bella Art Dana Cole. I can't remember what this color is. Um, obviously these are the old trays. I still don't have any of their newest version. Um, this I th must have been released last fall at some point. It's like the, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> It's like the perfect like harvest orange color. My pen is from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. This is one of my absolute favorites in my stash. Uh, it is a wood hybrid and there are little maple leaf uh, glitters in there. Love this pen. Perfect one for this kit. Uh, my washi tape is from Amanda Michelle Designs. I have this little minder from Country Craft Closet. And my putty that I used in my multi-placer was Autumn Wreath from Enablers Outpost. And I used um, micro glue dots in my single placer. I also had these really cute release papers out from Crafts with Crashly, uh, just because since this is a larger kit, and I did do kind of bigger sections. Uh, sometimes I like to have a release paper available just so I don't, my arms don't stick to the glue. Um, but yeah, that is pumpkins for sale. Overall, very, very happy with this finish. It was so fun to work on. Uh, definitely put me in the autumn vibe. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you've worked on this kit before. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.